Hello all, coming to the next topic, design process. Here the design process is nothing but step by step repetitive procedure to implement the software according to the customer requirements. Here we are going to achieve the better quality software with the help of the design process and the quality software here we are going to produce with the help of several formal technical reviews and according to the design process they should having the three important characteristics we should discuss here. As yes, coming to the three main important characteristics of the design process here we are going to consider the first one the design process should fulfill the all the customer requirements and those requirements are implicit as well as explicit according to the analysis model and the coming to the second characteristics we can consider the design should be readable and understandable to the programmers as well as testers. Yes, coming to the third characteristic of the design process, the design should represent the clear picture of the software. Here the clear picture in the sense the design should represent address the data and the next it should represent the functional behavior view of an implementation of the software. And these are the three important characteristics according to the design process. Is coming to the next concept design quality already I said design quality going to achieve with the help of the proper design process and coming to here in the design quality here we are going to consider the few guidelines related to the good design and we'll see one by one those guidelines coming to the first one the concept of design should reflect its meaning and the coming to the second guideline we can consider the design should be implemented based on the requirement analysis phase from the software development process. And the coming to the third guideline we can consider the design should clearly represent the interfaces applicable in the systems. Here the interfaces in the sense it should provide the clear connection among the different modules of the software system and the coming to the next guideline the design should consist of all the independent modules and the coming to the next the design should exhibit exhibit clearly all the modules of the software and the coming to the next guideline so various elements such as data architecture interfaces and the components should be differentiated clearly in the design quality and the coming to the next, using this design, a software engineer should directly build data structure which is suitable for the implementation of the classes. And we can see that all these designs should be outcome of easily recognizable components. And the coming to the next, we can consider a design should describe architecture and should represents the several components should be reflected here. We can say dynamic behavior of the system. So these are the guidelines we are going to consider for the design quality. Hope you all understand the session design process and the design quality. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.